friends, learned colleagues, I cordially invite you to this lecture session on Corona COVID vaccines. The pandemic is 19 months old. We are, our association with Corona COVID is 19 months. So during the 19 months period in tackling this problem, two, three things have clearly emerged. One, there is no proper treatment, specific treatment or cure for this disease COVID. When there is no specific treatment or cure, the old proverb holds good. Prevention is better than cure. Prevention means protecting ourselves at individual level, protecting ourselves. At government levels, protecting the citizens, protecting the society. In case of Corona COVID, the prevention can be achieved by two things. This has been stressed by all the health organizations. One, taking the vaccines. Now a number of vaccines are available in different countries throughout the world. Number two, protecting ourselves, taking the precautions. Among the precautions to be taken, the first and foremost is wearing the mask. Number two, avoiding the crowds, avoiding the crowds. Number three, maintaining the hygienic conditions. Then whenever there is a no possibility of overcrowding, therefore here maintaining the physical distance. Hygienic conditions are also frequently washing the hands is very, very important. So today, I would like to discuss with you the vaccines that are available for Corona COVID. First, I will go into the uh, some aspects of the vaccine development with respect to Corona vaccines and types, their salient features their merits, demerits, these aspects will be discussed. What are vaccines? Vaccine is a product that stimulate person's immune system to produce immunity to a specific disease. A vaccine stimulates the immune system this immune system in turn protects our body against the disease, protecting the persons from the disease. This is the definition given by CDC of United States. Vaccines are large molecules, mostly proteins, sometimes glycoproteins. Vaccines are administered through needle injections but can also be administered by mouth, oral administration or spread into the nose. What are the components of the vaccine? We are taking the vaccines. What are the main components of the vaccine? The main component of the vaccine is antigen, which is mostly protein. Act ingredient. So, but some other materials, some other chemicals are also added. They are suspending fluid. That suspending fluid may be sterile water, saline or liquid containing protein. Preservatives, sometimes it has to be stored for few weeks or sometimes few months. So, therefore, some preservatives Stabilizers during the storage, it should not lose the 
potentiality. For example, albumin, phenols, glycine, glycine. then adjuvants, enhancers, they enhance the potentiality of the vaccine that help to improve the vaccine effectiveness. Vaccines are normally given in schedules, one week, two weeks, three weeks or sometimes in case of children, one month, two months, three months, four months like this. They are given in schedules for whole population or age groups, all age groups can be given the vaccines, mostly given to healthy people. This we must remember. They are given to healthy people to protect the people against the infection. Vaccines are supposed to protect the whole population. Not for They are not meant for individual, but uh, in general, if we speak, for whole population. The ultimate goal of the vaccine is disease eradication, just like we have seen smallpox eradication. Smallpox is eradicated. Then types of vaccines, types of vaccines. There are different types of vaccines based upon some principles or based upon some basic material. Vaccine based upon attenuated viruses, attenuated, inactivated, made non-pathogenic, impotent. So that type of virus will be used, inactivate, attenuated. Second, it is killed, inactivated virus is killed, virtually killed by chemicals or heat. Then vaccines based on proteins, the very important protein that is the target for every almost every type of vaccine is the spike protein. In that spike protein particularly RBD receptor binding protein. The spike protein is a trimeric structure. mRNA based vaccines, messenger RNA based vaccines. Vaccines based on viral vectors, viral vectors, some carriers are designed into that the genome is introduced, the genes are introduced through those vectors, through the carriers, it is introduced into the individuals. Then based upon viral vectors, few other technological platforms are there. mainly this, but this is out of question because there is a fear that when it is partially inactivated, it may revert back to pathogenic form, more potential pathogenic form. So therefore, nobody is attempting on this, mainly this, 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 this. Bharat Biotech a vaccine is based upon this principle, whereas COVID shield is based upon this, uh, oh, sorry, viral vectors. We will see that. Look at here, Corona COVID, different types of vaccines, attenuated, inactivated, not inactivated, but made non-pathogenic, inactivated, killed. Virus like particles VLP, subunit proteins or recombinant proteins, then DNA based, mRNA vaccines, vector based. These are the different vaccines available. But as I told you, this is out of question. Only others are being tested, attempted. Now, Corona COVID vaccines in India. What are the vaccines that are available in India now? Sorry, 
so pfizer biotech vaccine it is germany based company still there is no indian partner they are dealing with the government of india to introduce or to uh, give this uh, vaccine to india it is mrna vaccine then two doses vaccine gap between the first and dose is 3 to 6 weeks they have put the efficiency of this vaccine to 95% very efficient moderna another american based company the indian partner is sipla company it is also mrna based two doses vaccine with a gap of 4 to 6 weeks they have given the efficiency as 94% these two vaccines are widely used in western countries especially united states of america johnson and johnson johnson american based country there is no indian partner h but government of india has uh, considering giving the eu a emergency use authorization adenovirus vector the adenoviruses cause some adenoviruses cause the colds in human beings in chimpanzees in monkeys in other mammals these adenoviruses are engineered and spike protein genes are introduced into the adenovirus that adenovirus non replicating adenovirus is uh, introduced into the individuals in the form of vaccine single dose efficiency they have put 66 covaxin this is home grown indian one bharat biotech hyderabad indian inactivated killed so it is safe two dose two to four weeks then last time in march and april they have put the efficiency as 81% after testing a large uh, population they have put the efficiency as 81% covid shield oxford astrazeneca collaboration is with the serum institute on behalf of this uh, it is producing serum institute of india is producing this vaccine covid shield adenovirus vector adenoviruses or non pathogenic almost non pathogenic but engineered two dose they have extended the gap between the first and second dose 12 to 16 weeks efficiency have put 71% sputnik v it is a russian vaccine gamalaya collaborating indian organization is dr reddy's lab again adenovirus vector two dose three two weeks they have put it as 91.6% per jaycovi do d jaydas kadila ahmedabad based ahmedabad based country this is also purely indian production indian technology is from indian indian plasmid dna plasmids are circular double stranded dna molecules into which the spike protein gene is introduced and this dna is uh, through liposomes or through other uh, some carriers it is introduced into the um, target pay or uh, individuals three dose about 12 years so all these uh, are just uh, some features only for 18 years more than 18 years recently pfizer and jaycovi they claim that 
it is also safe for the children above 12 years. Then the vaccines that are being widely used are Covaxin, Covishield, then Sputnik. So these are given Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, then uh, this Zycovid, they are given EUA emergency use authorization. This EU is given only under emergency conditions, urgency conditions. There is a there is a pandemic, not looking for the risk because the benefits are more risk, the benefits overweigh than the risk, therefore the authorization will be given. So here you can see except this uh, this is also there some reports 80 to 81 percent the efficiency varies adenovirus 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 this is mrna so now as i told you in the last lecture this mrna vaccine seem to be more efficient for delta variant than the others So here, according to doctor, then a question arises, which one we can go for? The question is that now we are going short of vaccines. Vaccines are shortage. So whatever the vaccine we can take, at least they will give on an average 70 to 75 percent efficiency protection they will give. But when all of them are available, now we are having only the government is supplying free only Covaxin and Covishield. But uh, some other vaccines just like Sputnik we have to purchase. Then according to Randeep Guleria, Director All India Institute of Medical Sciences, the efficiency reports of Covishield, Covaxin, Sputnik, Moderna or more or less the same efficiency. Hence, one should not judge the vaccination by just uh, by its efficiency reports. 80%, 90%, and 91% we cannot judge by the efficiency. We have to take into other aspects also, side effects, cost, availability and other aspects also we have to take into account. Every vaccination works differently. Every vaccination has a, a mode of action, mode of inducing or stimulating the immune system or different. Every vaccine has its own advantages and also some disadvantages. Some generate antibodies, memory cells, some generate cell mediated immunity. So their functions or their uh, immune responses are different. Hence, we cannot suggest individuals to take that vaccine, this vaccine, whatever the vaccine available. First, you take the vaccine. So that will give at least first line of protection to you. The doctor is also suggesting, we also suggest, I also suggest, first, whatever the vaccine that is available to you, take that. It is advised that you must take jobs on your time, on your time arrives. Thank you very much. The first thing is first you must take the vaccine. They will protect definitely they will provide the protection, give the protection to you 70 to 80 percent and whatever the time schedule is there according to that schedule you take the vaccine then follow the other precautions suggest wearing the mask maintaining the distance and other precautionary